Hello and welcome into another video of Python automation series. Today's video is going to be light and very interesting, where we are going to talk about news and newspapers. Newspaper is a Python module used for extracting and parsing newspaper articles. It was inspired by the famous library requests. Lucas O. Yang, the creator of Newspaper 3K, a popular journalism NLP library, has built products at Facebook and Snap, and he is currently working at Facebook Reality Labs. Newspaper module uses advanced algorithms with web scraping to extract all the useful text from a website. It works very well on online newspapers websites, and I will leave the link to the whole library on GitHub in the description. Okay, so first thing that we need to do, we need to save from newspaper, import article. And what I want to do actually is I want to check on that website, which is here on the Los Angeles Times uh, about the coronavirus. And we have here the author of that article. We have a picture. We have the whole article. Good. Before we continue, I would like to show you the languages supported. So simply, we will type Python and we will import newspaper. And then we'll say newspaper dot languages and we'll hit enter. And these are the languages supported by the newspaper module. Arabic, Belarusian, Bulgarian, Danish, Japanese, Korean, Macedonian, Polish, Russian, Chinese, Vietnamese. A lot of languages actually are supported by that library. Lucas did a great job working on this library actually. Okay, let's get back to our Visual Studio code. Now we want to create a variable for the article link. So let me type URL and we will copy the link for our article. So this is the URL. The next thing that I want to do is I want to create an article object and I will call it my article. And this will be equal to article. And inside here I have um, different parameters. As you can see, we have keyword arguments like a lot of parameters, but now we want just the URL, which is predefined up there, and the language, which is in this case in English. So we'll type EN for English. Okay, great. Now we want to download the article. So we will take the article and we'll simply say dot download like that. Nothing yet happened, but if we would like to just print the HTML, we can do that. Um, and let me just type print my article dot HTML. And I will run that on the bash and we'll say python main.py. And this is all the HTML of the article. Okay, so not very useful. So let's get back to our code and let me comment this line out and let's continue. We can not only download the article, but we can parse it. So parsing the article will allow us to get the title, the author, publishing date, for example, and different aspects of the article. Let's say my article dot parse. And now we can try to extract the title. So I'll write a comment here, extract the title and we'll type print title and we'll concatenate with my article dot title. 
and if we will play again we get the title which is the CDC which is the Centers um, for Disease Control and Prevention it says that coronavirus spreads mainly in the air through respiratory aerosols and droplets so it's exactly what's in the title here so you see that it returns exactly what you want the title it returns the title and we will check other aspects as well okay back to our code and let's for example and let's say for example we want to extract the authors so we'll say print so here I'll say extract the authors print authors all right and let's play our file again and we have here Seattle Bureau Chief Richard Reed is the Los Angeles Times Bureau Chief in Seattle and so on and exactly this is corresponding to the information which is here Richard Reed the author all right great back to our code um, let's say for example that we want to check the publishing date so publishing date and also we'll say print dot publish date let's run our program again now as you can see we get the title the author and the publishing date which is the 20th uh, September the 20th 2020 okay let's move on now let me show you if you want to do some natural language processing on that article so simply we will say so here I will write natural language processing on the article and we can um, just simply access the NLP function all right and now we can extract things like keywords or summary so let's do that so um, extract summary all right we'll save that and also let's get the keywords so the keywords are pretty straightforward like all of the functions so we'll say extract keywords say print keywords and we'll say my article dot keywords all right we'll save that and let's go ahead and check our program just clear the screen and run the file there you go we got the summary the coronavirus spreads most commonly in the air through droplets or other tiny and so on and so on the summary of that article and at the bottom here we have the keywords mainly guidance aerosols droplets so the keywords and the summary are displayed because um, we did some nlp on that article so as you can see this is very interesting module and let me now show you what we can do with the bbc.co.uk um, so let me just create very very quickly we'll call that bbc.py and inside the BBC I want also to import newspaper 
and let's go ahead and create a newspaper object. So say create a news paper object. And let me just call it BBC. And this will be equal to the newspaper module. And I want to access this method called build, which returns a constructed source object. It doesn't download or parse, but returns the source object itself. And inside here, we will pass the HTTP uh, S or without S. It's not secure. I'm not really sure. Okay, so let's just say HTTP colon slash slash bbc.co.uk like so. Okay, now we can iterate through the BBC website and we can return each article link or the URL. So to do that, we will use a simple for loop. So for article in bbc.articles and we will print the article dot the URL. So now let me go ahead and run Python bbc.py and let's check what we will get. Okay, so we have got all the links associated with the bbc.co.uk, as you can see here, UK Scotland, UK England, last news, entertainment, arts, um, everything, technology, world, entertainment. Okay, pretty interesting. All right. The last thing that I would like to show you is the categories. So we can also categorize the BBC links using the category underscore URLs function. So the newspaper module allows you also to show the categories. So here a small comment we will say article URLs and here categories. So we'll say for category in bbc dot category underscore urls print this category okay so let me comment those lines out and let's run just the print category so python bbc dot py the bbc.co.uk downloads um, and again BBC uh, because we have one with HTTP and one with the um, secured website and bbc.com so there you go I hope you like this video thank you for watching and I will see you in next videos